As a parent, you strive to give your child a happy and healthy life. But what if they suffer from eczema? The uncontrollable urge to itch and the unknown causes may be too much for you and your child to bear. As a parent, what can you do? Eczema is quite common in kids and young adults and with winter chills slowly making their presence felt. It is common to find rashes on children, but eczema is more than just a rash. It is a skin condition that can turn into a struggle for both parents and children. So if your child is at risk of eczema, it is wise to carefully follow precautionary measures to lower its severity. However, if symptoms worsen, you have to visit a dermatologist. Let's begin to learn what about eczema. Eczema is the name for a group of conditions that cause the skin to become red, itchy, and inflamed. The skin is irritated for various reasons, and the sufferer itches to seek relief. We all feel the need to itch, but the itching associated with eczema is different. It is best described as the reoccurring need to itch that just doesn't stop. With a traditional, itch we scratch once and we are done, but eczema is different. No matter how much you itch, scratch, or rub the area, the need is always present. Eczema is not contagious. You can catch it from someone else. For most types of eczema, managing fears comes down to these basics. As parents, you should know your child's particular triggers to avoid exposure. Implement a daily bathing and moisturizing routine to protect skin and lack in moisture. Although doctors typically advise against prolonged bath and showers, they do recommend short one. In fact, proper bathing is an effective way to treat the symptoms of eczema. Returning back to your bath or shower, make it short. One shower or bath a day should be enough to keep your body clean. More are not needed, since the key is to keep the skin calm and non-irritated. Opt for lukewarm water. Water is too hot or cold could lead to an eczema outbreak. Soap helps to keep your body clean, but it also removes natural oils from the skin. Use over-the-counter and prescription medication consistently and as prescribed to curb the symptoms. There is no cure for eczema, but treatment and more are common. This includes over-the-counter remedies, prescription topical medication, phototherapy, and immunosuppressants. Eczema, especially atomic dermatitis, may look and act very differently as your child gets older. So my dear parents, it's important to understand which type of eczema they may have and their symptoms and triggers to better treat and manage it as they grow and change. The only way to be sure what type of eczema your child has is to make an appointment with your doctor. Maybe some parents out there asking, why did my child develop eczema? As a parent, it's just break your heart when you hear this question. Let me tell you this, parents. The exact cause of eczema is unknown. Researchers do know that children who develop eczema do so because of combination of genes and environmental triggers. When something outside the body switches on, the immune system, the skin cells don't behave as they should causing flare-ups. Question number two. What triggers my child's eczema or causes it to get worse? Eczema, outbreaks, and flare-ups happen to different people and for different reasons. Some of the most common eczema triggers include even if your baby stuffed animals may be a trigger for eczema. Dry skin, those with sensitive skin, are prone. Irritants. Right about now, you may be thinking, but I don't use harmful chemicals. It isn't just harmful chemicals that can cause skin irritation. Chemicals found in everyday products such as laundry, detergent, makeup, and perfume can lead to an eczema outbreaks. This is due to the extremely close skin contact. The weather. Some patients experience complication with cold weather. Their body doesn't have enough time to adjust to the cold. Then arrives the urge to itch. On the other hand, hot weather can lead to an eczema outbreak. In this case, it is not necessarily the weather, but the sweat caused by warm temperature. 
food you have likely heard the phrase you are what you eat and this is true you may be surprised to hear the foods that we eat can impact our skin unfortunately tasty foods such as peanuts and seafood are common trigger factor to those with eczema allergens such as pet thunder pollen or dust when we think of allergies stuffy noses and sneezing often come to mind however those suffering from eczema can have a skin reaction which leads to itching and then a rash this results when the airborne allergens make contact with the skin a good example is dust when during or vacuuming a home tiny particles find their way into the air and on the skin this causes irritation which leads to itching your child's eczema may be worse in the winter when the air is dry. Saliva from drooling can also irritate your baby's cheeks, chin, and neck. You now know a few of the most common causes of eczema, but now what? The best way to manage your child's eczema is by getting to know their symptoms and triggers so that you can help keep it under control. Once you are able to determine the cause of your uncontrollable urge to itch, you can work on eliminating the trigger factor. Here are some simple tips from our expert to help you out. 1. Stay hydrated. One of the best and simple ways to keep your child's skin hydrated is to make them drink at least 8 glasses of water every day. This will hydrate their skin and flush out toxins, which lowers your risk of suffering from other skin conditions. 2. Choose clothes wisely. Yes, when it comes to choosing the right clothing for your kids, you need to be extra cautious. And what is better than a cotton clothes to deal with winter chills? Cotton clothes are not only gentle on the skin, but also keep your kids' skin safe from allergens and friction. 3. Eat healthy. To stay keep your skin moisturized and improve immunity, Eat a healthy and balanced diet. Also, you have to ensure that your kid eats seasonal fruits and vegetables to stay healthy. 4. Never self-medicate. Although steroids are the most commonly prescribed medication to deal with eczema, in some cases, they do not provide effective results. In such cases, you have to consult your good dermatologist to change the medication and relieve itchy skin and inflammation. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. If you are parents with children who suffered eczema, please comment below and share your experience how did you help your child with eczema. Thank you and I hope to see you again on my next video.